Hey everybody. So I got to work a little early today. Um, it's kind of funny down here. We get an inch of snow and the whole city shuts down. Uh, if, if you don't already know, I live in Atlanta. And it, it, roads are actually very, very bad. They just don't have the salt down here. They don't even have trucks for clearing it. Um, so today, uh, one of the one of my YouTube uh, guys, uh, and I really apologize, I can't remember his name. Um, and I looked for it in my email and I can't find it. Um, but he, he sent me some pictures yesterday of a, kind of a variation of the fishtail, um, which is right here. I actually have it sitting here. Um, he called it the bi-strand loop. Um, so based off of his pictures, or her pictures, I don't even know if it's a guy or a girl, to be honest with you, um, I'm going to create what what I think he did or she did. Um, so we're going to get started. This doesn't take a whole lot of paracord. I think I've got about seven feet of it in total. Um, but you're going to start with your buckle. I've already flattened the ends. And we're just going to go down through the top. Separate your two long strands here. And then grab the two small strands that are in the middle here. And this is going to create what we call a cow's hitch. There's also other names for it. Uh, I can't remember the other names. I want to say Turk's Head, but I, I think I could be wrong on that one. I'll have to look in my book. But anyways, that that's your cow's hitch. That's how you attach it. And then what we're going to do is you just run your paracord through your fingers so you don't uh, get it twisted. And uh, we're going to go up through the bottom of the, of the, the buckle. Uh, maybe. I didn't flatten that one too well. There we go. And that one through and pull that on through. If you did it right, you should have no twist. You should have two separate cords without them crossing each other. <clears throat> and you're going to set your length. So, in order to set your length, what you want to do is you want to measure basically from this ledge right here. You don't want to measure the hooks because that's going to be inside of the buckle. You want to go right to the ledge and then to the edge of this buckle. And that's going to be your the circumference of your wrist plus about a half inch just to give you a little extra room. So all we're going to do to start this is the basic fish hook or the fish tail. So you're going to take your right strand, go down through the center and take it off to the left side. And then you're going to cross over that one with your left strand. Take that down through the center underneath the right strand. So let me uh, zoom in on this for you so you can see what we've got got here. So you're basically just crossing and then going down through the center and out the other way. Alright, now take the right strand that you just crossed over the center, kind of tighten it on up and then cross over your left strand and go under, or cross over your right strand, go under your left strand. So you should have both strands on the left side now. I can zoom in on this for you so you can see what I've got here. There you go. Alright, and then do the same thing with this top strand. So when you take your left strand under, you're going to end up on the bottom part. So take the top part here. Cross that over the left strand, through the middle, and then under the right strand. You can pull these tight and push it up. So basically you're just going to start it like that. Now once you get to this point, those steps cease. So you will stop doing those. And all you're going to do is wrap this around. Alright, well... I don't know what happened exactly with uh, my video, but I got down to the bottom on this side and realized that uh, the, <laughs> the camera stopped producing video. So I'm going to back up. So I think where I left off, I was showing you how to do the fishtail here, and then I began to talk about how to wrap it around. Um, but basically, I'm just going to go to the other side and show you what I was just doing. Um, so all you're going to do, you're just going to take your your paracord and you're just going to wrap it around. Um, 
real, real basic. Now you, you want to make sure that when you wrap it around you pull it directly over top and you don't twist it. That will give you a nice even look and it will look good when it's all done. But keep it as close to the inner strand as you can. You don't want a big loop going around there because it just looks kind of messy that way. And you're just going to take this all the way down. Um, not a big deal. <laughs> you can hear the sirens in the background. Uh, my shop here. Uh, I got the expressway just outside my window. So I, I can look outside right now and I can see that the cars are completely stopped on the expressway. Um, normally it takes me, oh, I don't know, a good, how in the world did that happen? Okay, normally it takes me a good, I don't know, 15 minutes to get home. Um, today, today it took me 45 minutes. It's just, they don't have the equipment to uh, get the get the ice off the roads so if it snows just a little that ice is going nowhere but compacting that snows compacting I'm from Michigan so this isn't a big deal to me but I guess it is if, if you have no way of getting rid of that ice alright so I just turned this bracelet sideways it seems to be a little easier to do this if it's sideways every time you do a loop here grab a hold of it grab a hold of the previous loop that you just did it'll keep everything from moving around on you and I'm getting down to the end here so I'll go and show you how to finish this up and this bracelet only took me about five minutes to get to this point. I already did it once. I, I, un I undid everything to, so I could show you how to do do one of these. Alright, so down to the down to the ending here. Um, now what I, what I want to do is I want to hold on to my buckle and kind of push up and then that, that's going to kind of expose where you have your loose your loose loops. So you can just work those out by twisting. It'll end up working itself down to the bottom. And what I did on this first strand that you didn't get to see is I tied an overhand knot just to keep everything in place. So you're just going to untie that. Make sure you hold on to everything or it's going to unravel on you. Um, and I also talked about uh, making this into a quick deploy bracelet, which is, would be very simple with a shackle. And it might be something that I do tomorrow. I've got a couple other ones that I've been looking at doing for a little while now, so I might hop on those. But I'm just going to get uh, maybe one more this way. Maybe I'll do one more here. You want to get about, you want to get to the point, hopefully I wasn't out of camera range there. You want to get to the point where you've got about enough room to do two loops and then just kind of leave it there. Now this is going to be the hard part is holding that while you get the other two or the other side to that point. So use your use your finger and your thumb to hold everything. And I, I'd say that's a good spot. So now we're just going to finish this with the fishtail. So I'm going to take the right side over the right strand through the middle again. And then off to the left side under the left after under the left strand. Take your right strand or your, that top one now take that over the left under well actually you're gonna go over top of that one though so you're gonna go over top of that last strand that you just weaved through there okay okay and that'll pull these two together alright push up on these a little bit Go one more. Now, after I get this this next one through, I'm gonna finish it off with a Solomon knot, just so I can get a, a good spot for the for the uh, ends to be snipped and singed. Twist out of there. There we go. 
Alright, so I'm going to take my right over the center. This is to do the Solomon. So right over the center, left over the right, behind the back, and then through that loop. And this will give you a nice knot where you can cut your ends, singe them. That's yeah, not too bad looking. I kind of like that. Interesting. Good idea, whoever sent that to me. <laughs> oh, but they call it the bi strand loop bracelet, I believe it was. Um, I really apologize for losing that email. I had your name in there, and I was going to give you total credit. So um, email me if you see your video. I'll get your name put on here too. Not a big deal. So I just uh, melted the end and then I used my scissors here and then in a rocking motion go ahead and flatten that down. And what the rocking motion does, it gives you a really nice contoured edge. No hard edges there. Um, before I was just pressing it down and kind of mashing it all together. And that would give you some hard edges and it would kind of dig into your skin when you're wearing the bracelet. So that should help. Um, just do the same thing on the other side. Now, uh, I just posted a, uh, the February contest yesterday. So all you have to do if you want to get entered to win the 300 feet of paracord and 20 buckles is go to um, facebook.com, hit the like button for the page, scroll down after you hit the like button, find the picture that says February 2014 giveaway, then go over to boardparacord.com, hit the contact us button at the bottom, tell me what the picture is of, and then include your email address and I'll enter you into the contest to win that. But uh, there we go, that is the finished bracelet. This is what we call the by strand loop, and I hope you like it. I'm staying inside today, hope you all are staying warm. Please hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. We come out with a new video almost every day. Thanks again for watching. Paracord on.